So it's my pleasure to be able to introduce our next speaker, which is Astri Nerdiana. And Astri is from Indonesia. She's a um, lecturer with the Midwifery Department in Singapore Bangsa Karawang University. She's also a, a private midwife. She has a private clinic where she provides uh, maternal and child health care, including breastfeeding consultation and preparation for safe and normal birth. Um, uh, she, uh, Astrid is very interested to develop um, health, to eager to improve health conditions in Indonesia through constantly delivering maternal health services. And she's passionate about midwifery education. She's also um, the head of the Indonesian Midwives Association Education Institution branch. Her areas of research interest are in uh, the things that are essential for midwives in Indo Indonesia, understanding trends of maternal death in Indonesia, and developing a family planning counselling model based on a video. So we're looking forward to hearing Astri's presentation on pregnancy care quality measurements in Indonesia. And I'll hand over to Astri now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Robin, for the introduction. Good morning, everyone, and happy International Day of Midwives for all of us. It's such a pleasure and honor to be here. This is my first time uh, presenting on the virtual event like this. Yes, my name is Astri, and my co-worker's name is Ua Iwaria. Today, I'm going to present our proposal about pregnancy care quality measurement in Indonesia. The background of the study is, as we know, that maternal mortality is still one of the serious issues in the world. In 2014, 27% of maternal mortality in the world caused by hemorrhage and undiagnosed causes. And other causes contributed to the maternal mortality are abortion, uh, sepsis, emboli, and hypertension. The study found that most of the maternal mortality happened in low and middle income country, such as Indonesia. And we can see here the maternal mortality in Asian country. This figure shows that in 2014, Indonesia uh, is the third highest maternal mortality in ASEAN after Laos and, and Myanmar. That's on the previous slide shows that the cause of maternal mortality are preventable uh, are preventable during the antenatal visit. Now let's see the, uh, the antenatal care coverage in Indonesia. It became better from 2007 to 2012. The coverage on 2012 a lot more increased into almost 100% coverage. So most of the cause, most of the causes of maternal mortality can actually be prevented. Prevention can be done since pregnancy. Therefore, quality pregnancy care can be the key to the success of reducing the maternal mortality rate. Okay, now um, I'd like to show you the maternal death incidents in Karawang City. So actually, this research will be conducted in Karawang City. But before that, I'd like to introduce what it is like. As uh, we all know that Indonesia is an archipelago country which has many big islands and province. West Java is one of it. In West Java, there are several cities and there is the city called Karawang. Karawang was agricultural city, but now it turned into industrial city. The economic aspects grow so fast as well as education, architecture, and business aspect. This condition makes Karawang become most popular city in West Java and attracts many migrants from outside the city and country. There are many culture and race in Karawang, but this improvement is not in line with the health improvement. Karawang contribute more to the maternal mortality rate in West Java. In 2013, Karawang is the second highest city with maternal death incidents in West Java. 
now let's see the uh, maternal mortality incident in Sekarawang from 2007 to 2018. In the last three years, the maternal death incidents tend to decrease uh, from 68 to 61, uh, 59, and last year it was 46 maternal death incidents in Karawang. It seems changed a lot, but the maternal mortality are still happen for two to three deaths a month. This is the maternal death cause in Karawang. The, there are three major causes of maternal mortality in Karawang, and it constantly caused by the same case every year. There are preeclampsia, hemorrhage, and heart disease. And it seems like preeclampsia dominate the causes every year. Based on the maternal death data in Karawang, in 2015 to 2018, most of the maternal death happened to the mother with antenatal care more than four times along their pregnancy. So in Indonesia, we have minimum standards of antenatal care of one time in the first trimester, one time in the second trimester, and uh, two times in the third trimester. So uh, the most maternal death happen to the mother with the uh, good antenatal care frequency. A serious problem now is an uh, this has become a serious problem because uh, it's supposed to be more antenatal care, more antenatal care, or more visit. The more prevention could be conducted. So the hypothesis of this study that. There are some non adherence in carrying out antenatal care standards by the midwives. So, the aim of the study is to identify the implementation of antenatal care carried out by midwives in Caravan City based on 10 T antenatal care standards. What are the Tenty standards. Tenty standards come from Indonesian terminology where all the letters uh, begin from T, but when it's translated to English, actually it's not T anymore, but I'll keep this Tenty on this proposal. Anyway, the Tenty are head and weight measuring, blood pressure measuring, fundus head measuring, TT immunization screening, FS supplementation, nutritional status assessment, laboratory testing, fetal presentation and fetal heart rate examination, case treatment and health education. And I added two more variables uh, based on the journal I've read that waiting time and duration are two uh, indicators of quality. Waiting time is the time when the patient come to the community health center until they get they are getting the service from the midwife, and the duration is the uh, length of the uh, service provided by the midwife. A population of this study are uh, eight hundred and sixty four midwives in fifty community hall center in Karawang after I counted it. So I need 70 uh, samples for a midwife. I count it proportionally and I will do this in this research in 50 community hall centers in Karawang. The study will be conducted in six months from May to November 2019. And to prevent the bias while doing the observation. So this study will be used to blind observation study. So that midwives 
will act naturally while they're providing the antenatal care. Who are the observers? The observer are the students' midwives who, had, who has trained to observe. And uh, the data analyzing uh, this quan quantitative research, the valid validity and reliability of the questionnaire will be tested. And the final questionnaire will be used for this research. Then the midwife characteristic also becomes the variables of the study. And then the data uh, will be analyzed descriptively. Okay, I think uh, that's all what I can present to you today. Uh, welcome for every for uh, rem remark and uh, questions. Thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, presentation, Astrid. I'm sure there are uh, many questions that people would like to ask. So um, please uh, use the uh, facility to make questions. Anyone who might like to ask. I might start the ball rolling. I'm, I'm quite interested to know um, the number of births that would normally occur in the Karawong area. Uh, you've said there were 864 midwives in 50 health centres. So what is the number of births in this region? Uh, in the in province, so there are, uh, you, you must be very surprised with this number, uh, <laughs> 937,000. 276 births a year. Per, per year, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a lot of um, birthing women for 864 women uh, midwives to look after, isn't it? Yeah. Because Indonesia is one of the most populous country in the world. Yes, I understand. Yeah. So uh, every every community health center, uh, there are around twenty to thirty births every month. In most of the health centers. Yeah, health centers. If in a hospital, so there are around more than one hundred births every month. Every month or every day. Every uh, every month, every month, every month, so every yeah. day. There are maybe there are around uh, around uh, ten every day or a normal birth for normal birth. Mm. I was very interested in the um, the graph that you had up showing the percentage of maternal deaths by numbers of visits. Yeah. And the the number of maternal deaths was higher in the women who had had the the minimum standard of antenatal care. Would you mm -hmm. like to comment a little bit more than uh, more on that? Yeah, I think this is the same question. Like uh, I show that Fiona asked. Mm. Yes, Fiona's yeah. got that question yeah. there as well. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, one serious problem about the antenatal care provided by the midwife. The antenatal care is supposed to reduce the maternal mortality, but I saw the uh, reality in the community health center about the antenatal care that conducted by the midwife. So there are uh, 10 standards. It's supposed to be there are 10 standards, but some standards, uh, I, I saw some standards aren't uh, conducted by the midwife or, uh, yeah, skip or, or uh, like in the, yeah, some, we have, we have to exam uh, examine the pregnant woman uh, very carefully, but this is one of the biggest problem we have in the community that our midwife skill, uh, need to be, I mean, there are, have to be adherence to the service that they are providing. I 
so your uh, the so your idea then is that the midwives are not doing all of those 10 required steps in their usual antenatal care at the moment that's your hunch that you're going to go out and and examine is that right yeah that's right that that is my uh, purpose of this study mm. so now uh, we have a program here in Karawang that some of antenatal care uh, uh, conducted also by the OBG beside mm -hmm. by the midwife. Right. And yeah, Deb, I, Deb's asked you mm -hmm. a question about um, do women mainly go to a qualified midwife or do they go to traditional birth attendants as well? Yeah, for, for now. There are uh, most of them go to the qualified midwives. There are no more birth attendants in uh, Karawang or in Indonesia. We have less than uh, last maybe last ten years. And do the OBGYNs do they do the same ten T standards? Yes, but the difference between OBGY and uh, midwife, the OBGY, uh, they do ultrasound as well. Right. So now um, in, yeah, in, I don't know uh, whether this is the same, uh, the same, the same thing with another country or not. So the, the competence of, of uh, ultrasound uh, just uh, uh, only can conducted by the OBGY. Yes. And Michaela's asked a question about uh, do women keep their their pregnancy records? Yes, the women keep their pregnancy record on the book. We call it Maternal and Child uh, Health Book. But again, some of the some some of the patients sometime they don't bring it to the health center or to when they when they went to when they are going for uh checking up to the midwives sometimes they left their book at home so sometimes midwife miss the the records in that book mm. Can you tell us a little bit more about the the blind observations and and how they'll be done and what kind of training will be given to the student midwives to do this? Yes. So uh, the blind observation are going to conducting by the the first I uh, train the student midwives about uh, filling up the questionnaire and. Uh, what they are supposed to do with the checklist. And then I, uh, I mean, I sent all the students to the community health center uh, by the purpose to learn about midwifery, midwifery skills. But beside that, they have the uh, task to do an observation when the midwife doing the examination to the pregnancy woman. So the the midwife doesn't know that they are being observed. Okay. And after that, uh, they will they will uh, fill the questionnaire and the checklist and the uh, I will see the uh, the field uh, questionnaire and uh, I yeah that's uh, data the research data. There's a question, another question uh, that's just come on from Sohiri. Um, how do you how do you treat with a mother's death? I mean, is there a rule? Um, Okay, so here you might want to just clarify what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think I, I, I understand the next question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'll answer about that. Mm -hmm. So the, the maternal mortality, I mean, it's such a 
serious problem in Karawang. I mean, why I choose Karawang as the place for my uh, research now? Because there are many pilot project conducting here from uh, USA or like many international international uh, organization, and the pilot project always succeed. And now uh, we are we have many effort to uh, to give the solution to the maternal mortality in Karawang. We have many program, but when there is the maternal death in one uh, health center, the the midwife or the health practitioner uh, must report it to the health office, the local health office, and then the local health local health officer will come to the health center and we have also maternal audit maternal audit and also we usually uh, do the interview to the family who uh, who who attend the birth and also we do the interview to village midwife so there are there are three data. The data come from the uh, local health center, from the family, and uh, from the midwife who who help uh, deliver the baby at that time. And then the data will be presented in the maternal uh, death audit with the OBG as the speaker. And uh, at that time. Uh, there is also the uh, delegation from the or profession organization, uh, Midwives Association. Is that is that answer the question? Sherry said uh, thank you. So I think you have uh, managed to answer her question really well. Okay. Thank you for that. Mm. Are there any more questions that anyone would like to ask Astri? I really welcome everyone uh, to join the project here. I, I mean, my city, my city here really need the many inputs, many innovation in yeah solution to uh, decrease the maternal mortality. And what would you want people to do to help? Yeah, for uh, everyone, I think yeah, the access to the knowledge is one more most the most important thing for the uh, for the people. The people, the people need more knowledge, more knowledge in the uh, about the health about the risk of pregnancy yes we do we we do have the program called uh, maternal maternity class but again it need a more uh, evaluation on it well it sounds like your process that you're going to be doing now is moving some way towards um, finding some um, some solutions to the high rates of maternal death through the provision of antenatal care. So well done for that. It's a good project. Yes, Ravine, thank you. No, no more questions? Then all we, uh, all we do then is um, thank Astrid very, very much for her really wonderful presentation on the quality pregnancy care in her area in Indonesia. Uh, this was Astri's first go at doing an online presentation and I think she's done a tremendous job. So uh, well done Astri.